Apple is a bit larger today than the company created by Steve Jobs in his parents' garage. Facebook is about putting power in people's hands. Getting access to information is an important human right. The chief executives of Apple, Facebook, and Alphabet are Congressional Hearings veterans. They'll be joined by first-timer Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos on Wednesday, as all four come virtually before a House Judiciary Subcommittee. The topic this time is one that strikes at the heart of each of their companies, whether new laws are needed to rein in big tech. This is an unusual moment when we've got the CEOs of four of the five largest companies in America showing up at a hearing at the same time, testifying in a hostile environment about how they became so large and whether they acquired their dominant position in the market legally. The bipartisan investigation is looking at whether U.S. antitrust laws need to be updated. These online platforms are in some ways a new phenomenon, certainly new enough that they didn't exist when U.S. antitrust laws, which are decades old, were written. Some lawmakers say the tech giants are wielding excessive power over markets such as online retail, online advertising, and smartphone apps. Amazon dominates online retail with nearly 40% of U.S. online shopping occurring on its platform. Amazon, with a market value of about $1.5 trillion, is facing scrutiny over whether it unfairly uses its size and platform against competitors and other sellers on its site. Jeff Bezos, Amazon's CEO, came under pressure to testify to Congress after the Wall Street Journal reported in April that Amazon was using data from its own sellers to launch competing products. Amazon says it strictly prohibits its employees from using seller data to determine which private label products to launch. Wednesday's hearing will be the first time the world's richest man testifies before Congress. It will be a new experience for him and it'll be interesting to see how he responds. Lawmakers are expected to challenge Amazon's contention that its business practices don't drown out competitors. Bezos, in the opening statement he released, says Amazon accounts for less than 4% of retail in the U.S. And unlike industries that are winner-take-all, there's room in retail for many winners. Bezos' testimony comes as the Federal Trade Commission, along with some states, is probing whether Amazon's practices hurt competition. Apple's CEO, Tim Cook, is expected to defend how his company's App Store operates. It generates about $15 billion in annual sales for Apple. Developers, customers, and lawmakers are balking at the 30% cut the company takes on sales. It's the only App Store available on more than 900 million iPhones worldwide. Apple has argued that it's not a monopolist, and a study it commissioned ahead of Wednesday's hearing says the 30% fee is fair and similar to other digital marketplaces.